Day comes true. Step aboard the Palace on Wheels. You begin your royal journey in Delhi, the capital of India. At Delhi Cantonment Station, tourists are welcomed in typical Indian traditional style. The Palace on Wheels is outward bound. An extraordinary train for extraordinary people. With historic charm and modern conveniences. Built originally at the command of Indian royalty, the Palace on Wheels has been modernized to include present day comforts. Centrally air conditioned soothing four-channel music, a separate pantry and lounge in each coach, comfortable coupes with the privacy of attached bathrooms with shower, two speciality restaurants, Maharaja and Maharani, a well-stocked bar in the lounge and Friendly, smiling attendants serving you round the clock. Jaipur, the pink city, greets you next dawn. Discover the history of the city that dates back to 1727. Visit the Hava Mahal, the Amir Palace. Climb atop a bedecked elephant to reach the palace complex through a steep path. Enjoy an exotic lunch at the Rambagh Palace Hotel. Visit the Jantar Mantar, one of Jai Singh's five remarkable observatories. The City Palace, a historical landmark. The Palace on Wheels moves on. The desert opens up. The massive sandstone Jaisalmer fort and its 99 bastions. The fort has stood sentinel since 1156 AD. Ride the camel, the ship of the desert. Jodhpur salutes you, the second largest city in Rajasthan, built by Rao Jodha, the capital of Marwar since 1459 AD. Climb the steep hill on which is perched the fort Mehrangarh. The stately Umaid Bhavan Palace, an enormous and impressive sandstone structure built in mid 20th century. It is now a five-star hotel. And the Palace on Wheels rolls on. Can any other cruise give you more? The rest of the world today is all five-star hotels set somewhere in Sydney or New York or in Bangkok. But to be on a five-star hotel travelling through the history of India is an experience that you cannot get any other way. Savai Madhupur, a haven of peace and quiet rest. But beware, the royal tiger roars nearby in the Ranthambore National Park. Safe from the tigers, the Palace on Wheels moves on. Seeing five tigers, I think it's going to be one of the most unforgettable trips I've ever taken. Chittorgarh, the capital of Mewar, from the 7th century AD to 1567. Truly historic, the Chittorgarh Fort, the Victory Tower, 
evoking the heroic deeds of Rajput warriors. On to Udaipur, Maharana Uday Singh's kingdom, its forts, lakes, palaces, cast a magical spell. The Lake Palace Hotel, once the summer residence of Mewar royalty, now serving you an exotic lunch. Bharatpur beckons you to listen to bird song. This sanctuary shelters more than 300 species of feathered friends. After the Bharatpur bird sanctuary, the palace on wheels takes you to Fatehpur Sikri, the city of victory, built by Akbar during the last quarter of the 15th century. Come to Agra, the Agra Fort, the seat of power for three Mughal reigns. Breathe your vows once more beneath the midday sun at Agra in the presence of a monument of marbled love built by Shah Jahan for his beloved queen Mumtaz. The Taj Mahal is one of the seven wonders of the world. Alas, the wonderful week is over. If only such pleasure trips could last forever. The Palace on Wheels, run by the Rajasthan Tourism Development Corporation. Come, step aboard. The Palace on Wheels.